has come to our family. that has, I believe, been longly awaited uh, by a lot of people that are hopefully watching. This is going to be a English playthrough of Darkest Dungeon with physical components on the table, not some digital thing that we have concocted and put together. So, welcome. I'm Sam Healy. JT Turner. And we are going to tackle this monster. This is going to be the first of I'm envisioning three videos. So what we'll do today, correct me if I'm wrong, is we're going to run through three level one dungeons and then a level one boss. That is correct? Two level one dungeons and then the third dungeon, third dungeon is the boss dungeon. I knew the level, I knew three was three in there total. somewhere. Yeah. So, okay, so we've got two level one dungeons and then level three, uh, I'm sorry, level a third level one dungeon and the dungeon boss. All right, so the other two videos are going to be level two, level three, and then level three, at the end of level three, is the Darkest Dungeon. Oh, and Darkest Dungeon's number four, but you're already so I guess for failure. I guess we're doing four videos then, um, but we'll get it done. This is the first, <laughs> yeah. so we're only doing level one and level one bosses right now. So uh, that's what we're going to be doing. JT is the rules guru. Uh, for this one, he probably knows the game as well as the designers and the devs because he's been doing this, he's been demoing this game since we began demoing it at conventions. The first time he started doing it was way back at uh, Gen Con Online. Yep. No, Essen Online. Essen Online. Essen Online, yeah. Not not this year, but last year. So I think we are in good hands. He is our pilot. I am not even a co-pilot. I'm back in coach somewhere. Uh, but I have played the game. We have gone through it uh, with the most recent rule set. So we should be all polished up. Doesn't mean we won't make mistakes because we are human. But we'll do the best that we can. And with that, we're going to go ahead and get started. Here we go. All right. So we are using the Necromancer as our level one boss. And will he affect our dungeon at all? He will. So the Necromancer himself, if we look at him, says he's an undead sorcerer brought back to life through the ancestors' endless study of the limitless. It now sits in the deep of the ruin, ruins, dark crevices, performing unholy rituals, carrying on his sinful deeds of the past, mm. reviving the dead, on and on down the years forever. Wow. The Necromancer's our first level boss. Okay. And he will have two effects. Every boss will have two effects. Um, his effect while we're in the dungeon is after battles, we remove any non unholy monsters permanently from the game. So we have a whole deck of monsters here. The Necromancer's going to continue to kill them off as they fail to us, um, which will shrink and change that dynamic for the rest of the game. That's and then, cool. And then the other item is, when we go back to the hamlet, we cannot go to the graveyard um, for these first three missions. I was gonna so. I was gonna visit Grandpappy. Well, not today. Not today. Right. Not today, Necromancer. Not today. So for those of you that don't know the story of the Darkest Dungeon, yeah. um, the hamlet has fallen into disrepair, and our four budding adventurers, plus all their pals, have decided to come help it bring the hamlet back to its former glory. So yeah. I'm using the Vestal, she's a healer. Um, the Grave Robber, 
Because if there's graves and undead, why not? I bet you there. I bet you she's pretty uh, oh. sad that we can't go back to the graveyard. There might be a traitor mechanic. We don't know. <laughs> Hopefully not. <laughs> um, the highwayman. Uh, he is uh, Mr. Pistol and uh, Blades Extraordinaire. And then the Crusader is our tank. But he also has a little bit of healing and ability in there as well. Yep. And so we're going to go in. Quest 1. Dungeon 1. Our quest is drawn randomly, but it says... You want to read it? I want to read it. this one. I want to read this one. Do it in the All right. Place. Dim Bones. Right. A revered ancestor laid in rest in the ruins... Their sacred bones left untouched, but what is dead should remain as such. Thus, the noble duty fell upon your shoulders to retrieve them, lest they fell prey to the dark taint of the land. Right on. So we have some special rules on there as well. We're going in to get the ancestors' bones. Um, we have eight rooms in our dungeon, and our budding party ready to enter. Yeah. Um, our goal, we get experience points for every room we find, which has a little uh, purple scroll on it, and each of those we get to take the bones with us. Um, we got to collect those three bones to be most effective. Um, and everybody gets one experience per bone. One experience per collected. bone, yep. Um, and then I don't think we have any... At, at any time when we feel like we're being overwhelmed, we can leave, but we'll get less experience in doing yeah. so. So, all right. All right. So we're Here ready we to roll, roll up some all of our dice. provisions. We can take four provisions with us. A lot of shovels. Yeah. So we'll take no torches though. No torches. We don't oh, need torches. Oh, oh, we got oh. shovels, antidote, a food, a couple of bandages. Oh, some more antidotes. Oops. And uh, no torches. Who needs a torch when you're going into a dungeon? Our torch light is now at level five, and we are ready to go to our first room. So I ain't scared of the dark. No, not yet. Thank goodness we brought the vestal. <laughs> <laughs> if one of our characters die, we got to go get one of our buddies to take over. So, um, are we going to scout to the first room? Yeah, I think we need to scout. All right. So everybody, we lose one stress each. Blink. Then everybody Blink. has to roll their encounter dice. Highwayman. The dungeon. Oh crap. And Crusader. Oh, Two all right. Two stereo rolls. Man. So starting with the Crusader, you get to choose, burn a torch, or just take all the negative effects on your Curio. Oh, I'm going to burn it. Oh, wait, we don't have any torches. All right, so drawing the Curio here. Bow. Display cabinet. Hey, found some stuff in a display cabinet. There could be valuables left inside. You open it, but you trigger a blade trap. That sounds inviting. As it swooshes by your soldier, shoulder, you duck and manage to get slashed on the inside of your chin. Oh. Agitated and clearly shaken, you collect the coins and the provisions found in the cabinet and carry on with your journey. So, I get one stress and I get one negative quirk. Negative quirk. Whoosh. So, weak grip uh, whenever I get a crit, I also get plus one stress. Yeah. All right, that's not bad, I guess. I get ten We get gold. ten gold added to our pot. And actually, and our pot should have started with ten, so we got twenty now. Cool. And then we get to roll and do another... We get, it, we get another die, right? Does yep. this mean we can roll it, or does do we get to choose what it is? No, if it doesn't have an arrow, then you have to roll it. Come on, torch! Not a torch. Torch and food. Stress eaters, here we go. Okay, so okay. now Highwayman gets to go. So Curio is done. And Curio for the Highwayman as well. Confession booth. Um, a forsaken confession booth. It hasn't been used in years. As you step inside, you feel a faint chill, followed by a painful sting. As you shake the poisonous spider off your garment... Oh, spiders. I hate spiders. Um... Your vision is blurred and you feel weak. So I get another stroll. My guy, uh, Highwayman, gets a stress. He also gets a negative quirk. Uh, infirm. So Anything. whenever I get health, you get one less. I get one less. All right, and then I have blight. No poison. Yeah. For three blight turns. For three turns. 
Uh, and a disease. Man, winner, winner, chicken dinner. Yeah. Vertigo. So yeah, Every time you get buffed, you get yep. too stressed. Every time I get buffed, to get too stressed. Super duper. It's going to be awesome. All right, I'll take one of those for the grave robber. <laughs> All right, here we go, curio. Bam. All right, here we go. I found a bookshelf. A big bookshelf looms in front of you. As you reach out for the book, a spiky ornament falls onto your head, <laughs> and your cheek gets slashed from the impact. Jeez. That's quite cheeky. Yeah. <laughs> yeah exactly. <laughs> uh, you look around and find a trinket on the bookshelf bookshelf side. Now you only need to stop the bleeding. <laughs> All right, so I take one stress and take a negative quirk because we're passing those around. Fear of the unknown. Every time I get a curio, I have to uh, take a stress. Um, I got a bleed for three turns. Oh, man. Me. Oh, and bleed I get a, for three turns. And I get a trinket. Uh, I'll put my trinket here. So an accuracy stone. So, that's not too bad. There you go. Okay. Bleeding. And the last one is the worst. We've got a stressful darkness. So I can either burn a torch, which we don't have, <laughs> or I can take two stress, or I can let the light level go down one. And I'm actually going to let the light level go down one. Because I'm... No, we yes. don't get plus one dodge anymore. Well, now we get plus one crit. Okay. I like that better. Okay. All right. So we made it to our first room. <laughs> Wait. All that was just making it to our first room. Yeah, we're at the first Super room. duper. We made it through that little short corridor there to the first room. <laughs> there was a lot of curios on the way. We do not like that corridor. All right. So our first. We found our first bone room. room. Yep. Right there. Okay. Man. All right. So now we populate. Based on our stance. Cedar is going to be over here by his lonesome. Yeah. We'll hang out here. In. All these three will be up here. We need two chests. Where do we put the chests at? They're here somewhere. They're over there. I knew that. That was planned. Two chests and then a bunch of baddies. Chest goes here. We'll start with a Weber in the back. Put that in the corner over here. And then chest over here. Bam. Where is the Weber? Does he not exist? No, he does. There's a Weber in the back. We have a maggot in the front. Because we love maggots and their diseases. That guy goes aggressive. He goes aggressive, so that's madman in the back. down here. Blink. This guy is ranged. And a spider. The green spider. Alright. And the spitter goes last. All right. We got a little glowy thingy here. A little glowy thingy there means if you go there, um, and on your turn, you spend both of your actions, you can pick up one of the bones we need. So this so, is where the bones are. Yeah, in that cute little sarcophagus. Yep. So uh, that's where we got to go to get the bones, get cute, the experience. Cute wouldn't be the word I used for cute. it, but... Uh, okay. Roses on it. It's got kind of rosy down here. <laughs> right. Okay, mm -hmm. we'll go to our initiative. Here, let me just put this over here with our necromancer. Good job. Go to our initiative. I think I already shuffled these, but I'll do it one more time so I don't have the bottom the monsters on top. Yep. Okay. All right. Crusader gets to go first. All right. So Crusader has this little maggot over here that uh, he may want to uh, start going for so you can move and then attack and crusader only has a movement of one as denoted by this little footstep over here so uh we'll move him one like so and then we'll start berating the maggot i don't know if the maggot can even hear us but we are going to zealously accuse you the maggot be of a being a maggot yeah. so that's what we're going to do yeah. and we have a, a distance of one a range of one and i could do up to two monsters but there's only one guy there so we're going to roll an accuracy of nine. What's his uh, defense or what have you? Maggot has no dodge. So. No dodge. So this has to be a nine or less. Or Here ten. we go again. All right. The maggot did not take the berating. Well, I mean, he can't hear. He didn't even notice the yeah, berating. He can't hear. He's like, he's just foraging around in the rubble over there. Second to go. Tigerman, right on top. 
Okay, Highwayman. All right, so he's over here, and he's got that madman pointing at him and laughing. He doesn't like that. So up to two spaces away, one, two, we could do a pistol shot, which I think seems like a pretty good thing to do. I wonder... Yeah. You could do a grape shot in there. I could do a grape shot in here, couldn't I? Mm -hmm. A zero to one, so I'd have to move here. Get me closer to the madman. But this is our objective. So Grape Shot allows me to target both of these guys um, with an accuracy of eight. And, and they both have a dodge of one, so... So it's a seven or higher. And you get a plus one crit for the torch. Yeah. Seven, seven or higher, yeah. so that is it. And they both take three damage. And they have a debuff for one turn. I th okay. think that's what it is on the right side, right? Yep. So three damage each. They both have five health, so they got two left. And they both take a debuff. Oh, yeah. Those oh, orange yeah. ones for one turn. Uh, debuff, one for one turn. Yep. So there's Which two. means they're easier to crit against. Boom. Right on. That's that. On to the monster's turn. So the maggot, yeah. now being berated, is going to want to go after the closest person, which is a crusader. And he's going to attack you with an accuracy 7, mm -hmm. for a chance to um, I have a grave nibble. <laughs> oh, I hate the grave nibble. <laughs> I hate the grave nibble. I have, a, no I, have a, I have a zero dodge as well, so uh, what is it? Accuracy 7. Accuracy 7, so it's, two. come on. No, crit 3. Yeah, oh, he missed. Okay. Get out of here, you little throwing, grave nibble. These guys are throwing insults and nibbles. And I know, right? It doesn't seem like it's working. <laughs> Okay, our spider um, is going to do a bite attack. Oh, Wants dear. to go against the marked person or the closest person. Um, the spitter. He's the spitter. So he wants to move into your space. And accuracy eight, critical chance one. Was Modified. the grave nibble a, uh, a ranged attack? I can't it was, see yes. Yeah, okay. Mm -hmm. All right, so here, the bite attack on the highwayman. Um, what is the... Accuracy is eight. Eight. Critical, critical chance one. All right, so it's a seven. Oh, yeah, seven and a one. Uh, we'll say that's cox. And it's a crit. Should have taken the cox. Uh, no, All right. you're not supposed to take cox dice. Come on. Four damage. Way to get you started. Just a scratch. Four damage. That's a bite, um, actually. No. And did you take one blight damage from earlier? One poison? One poison. Blight, blight, yeah. So that'd be five. Hey, it's a nice round number. Mm -hmm. It's not a round number. And then you get another stack of blight. Oh, dear. Poison. Yippee. For three more rounds. Skippy. Vestal, hello. She's sleeping. Leave her alone. <laughs> um... And if you were marked, you'd take more damage. All right. I'm not marked. Good. That's gracious. All right. Dave Roberts' turn. So, now I can't move into your space because it only holds two minis. Mm-hmm. So, let's see here. You I got that ranged attack, though, yo. going to... I do. I'm going to throw a dagger at that spider. Mm-hmm. So, critical chance, three... Accuracy, eight. Both of those are modified. Three. Got so there's a crit. It. So anybody in my space, me and the Vestal lose a stress. Um, plenty of damage, seven damage. This guy's gone. Yeah. Along with him, we'll get him off the board. A little late there. Put that away. <clears throat> and everybody else will move up. And because he's not unholy... The Necromancer sacrifices him. You failed me for the last time, That's Admiral. Right. Okay, and for her second action, I am going to lunge at the Madman. <laughs> I think. Should I lunge at the Madman or should I lunge at the damage of seven? Yeah, I'll lunge at the Madman. I will get out of your way if you choose to. Critical chance to accuracy of... He has... Uh, two dodge, so accuracy of eight. Got him. So that's a hit. Um, so I'm going to move forward two spaces. I'm going to hit him for seven. Ow. 
He has 10 health, so mm -hmm. three left. Not enough, but hit him for seven, and that is going to pull me forward um, two spaces on this tracker. Um, yep. All right, and that's her turn. All right. Whoa. All right, Mad Man is next. So he's going to roll a 10 side to see what he'd like to do. A well, one. He wants to do a doomsday against the most crowded location. Um, there is no We're most crowded location. Spread out. So then he will go for a grave robber since she's in the um, aggressive position. And he needs to be one space away. So he's going to actually walk over here. Excuse me. He's going to walk over here to hang out with the highwayman. And then he's going to do a doomsday. So. Accuracy of nine, crit chance of one. Nine. Okay, and I take one stress from that. That's it? That's it. He likes it more when he's, he's like doing it and laughing. Yeah. Because like I didn't kill him in one hit. Yep. I'll try better next. I'll try harder next <laughs> time. Okay. And the Weber wants to roll to see what he's going to do. He wants to do a web against the furthest person from him. Oh, one, two, one, so, and everybody's the furthest from him, so he actually wants to do it against um, the Grave Robber again, because she's in the aggressive stance, mm. um, but his range is one, and he cannot enter this space, so he doesn't get to do anything. Lucky for the Grave Robber. And the Vesto gets to go next, and she needs to heal somebody. Maybe. Okay, so... Range of one. She's going to heal. Highwayman. Uh, Highwayman. Excuse me. For three. Um, two because you are infirm. Okay. So that's her first. And her second. That was with Divine Grace. I think she'll use. Angel one. Okay. She'll use divine comfort as well on him since she's, she's kind of stuck there. She only has one speed. So. Mm -hmm. All right. So that's two more or one more, I guess. One more. That's all she's got. Okay. Okay. Take these initial cards back. Mm -mm -mm. It's a long reach. Okay. That was a bit of a rocky start. Oh, we did good. There's a whole bunch of damaged people, including you. <laughs> my, including side, my side looks okay. I yeah. got a little bit of bleed. Oh, gosh darn it. I'm going to have to remember these trackers are sitting here, so i got to take one yep. bleed damage. Got it. Okay, round two. Well, wait, didn't um, you just get those, though? Where's my round marker? What's that? Didn't you just get that though? No, I got that from the curio. Got it. Okay. All right. So round two. Oh, I drew two cards. Maggot gets to go first. He's going to. Oh. He's going to berate you again. More the grave nibble. More grave nibbling. All right. Crit chance three. Accuracy seven. Crit chance three. Hey, <laughs> he missed. He missed again. Stupid nibbler. No nibbling on the shield. All right, Grave Robber's next. Now Grave Robber is in the front. So all I can do is a pick in the face. Yeah! That sounds glorious. So I can move through your space as long as I don't end there. Um, so, or I could pick up that chest. Then move. Yeah. I might actually pick up, I'm going to pick up the chest. Good idea. Okay, so that lets us get one provision of our choice. Yeah. I'm going to put a torch and she's going to keep it. I'm just kidding. <laughs> so nobody else can have it. I found a torch. I'm I keeping quiet torch. about it. Okay. And for her second action, she's actually going to move back two spaces and reshuffle the team. Sorry, you can't reach it very well. That's all right. No worries. Okay. Next up, Madman. Oof. 
Okay, so Madman wants to do a six this time. He's gonna do an accusation. Might as well go do it against that guy. He's accusing everybody of everything. <laughs> against the most. Maybe just have a conversation. Against the a most debate. stressed. So we all have two stress. I think so. So he wants to do it against the Crusader. So he wants to be two spaces away. One, two. So he's gonna move forward one, and he's gonna accuse you of accusing others. Um, accuracy is 10, crit chance 1. Oh. So you take one damage, you take a debuff for two turns, and two stress. Debuff for two turns, and two stress? Yep. That dude needs to stop yelling at people. He's laughing at somebody. I mean, I was being zealous about my accusations, but I wasn't yelling. That's true. All right, Crusader's up. All right. So, um, the Friendly Neighborhood Morale group is helping out, uh, but I think we're going to do, we're going to move one and do a zealous accusation here because this guy's calling me out. So I gotta yeah, answer him. Out. I'm gonna say, dude, look at my scroll, bruh. Um, That's the way he's laughing. I know, he's like, you can't even paper around with you, dork. Uh, but this is also going to affect the yeah. uh, Weber in there as well because well, I can affect up to. Weber has a dodge of one, Madman has a dodge of two. So. All right, so I gotta roll twice? Nope, he's roll one. Yeah, I gotcha. All right, so here we go. Accuracy of nine. That, my friend, is a crit. crit. Nice. So I take a stress, oh. and then. But I do nine damage. That's actually. Well, that is when you crit. Yeah. Because I have a weak grip. Yeah. I like drop my scroll every once in a while. Perfect. And then you. Do so nine I do nine damage each. to both of them. Yes. So, get out my face. Right on. Stupid madman. Okay, so that will take these two off the board. those for you and neither one of them is unholy so they are no longer in the game now if I crit I get plus one but I get a minus one so does that equal out that's what I would think yeah so I don't mm -hmm. I don't go forward I just don't no. get the extra, don't get buff. The extra. okay uh, this thing no. goes away okay so that was his turn um, this should have gone away yeah that's one of those Next in line, Highwayman's up. So he's going to first blight for two. Clink. And we should have uh, had him. We should have had him take an antidote last turn. Well, he can take an antidote this turn to get rid of those other three. One of my one of my turns is that what it is? Nope, it's free action. Well, let's do that. We'll take an antidote, get rid of the rest of my blight, and so now just got a few scratches. So. No worries there. Um, so we've just got this over here, right? Mm -hmm. um, if we get this, do the treasures like so we're done? We don't finish this. I have encounter. to use two it's actions to do dead, this anyway, and right? that has been picked up. So both okay, of those have to happen. Both of those have to happen. All right. So he does have a movement of two. So I could go one, two, and then uh, I could do pistol shot. Yeah, I'll do that. So I'll move one, two, and, you know, we got our backs, got each other's backs. I'm going to shoot him around. Um, so this is an accuracy of nine. He has a... No dodge. No dodge at all, so... Uh, that's a hit. How much? That's five damage. Five of his six. All right. Okay. And that, that is that. Last one is the Vestal. Again, I forgot to bleed at the beginning of the turn. <laughs> How can you Very forget wrong. to bleed? I don't know. I forgot to bleed. <laughs> Sorry. All right. Vestal's up. She has nothing with that kind of range. She's just uh. going to walk forward one. Is everything okay in here, fellas? She could heal for two. Or can't attack anybody. So she's just going to walk forward two. That's her whole turn. Okay. She's going to dig her, dig out the bones once you take care of this maggot. Yeah. That's what's going to happen. Okay. Oh, 
Go ahead. The cards are too far I'll away. I'll come behind you and clean up your mess. Don't all worry. Right, just knock them all out there. <laughs> all right, here we go. You no longer need that fourth monster card. Uh, uh, uh. See that maggot come over there and wipe out two characters. No, he can't come in here because it's all full. Uh -huh. Crusader's up. Yeah. Round three. All right, he's got a bone to pick with the maggot. So uh, he's going to move over here, and he's going to zealously accuse this maggot of being a maggot. So, accuracy nine. Yes! You, you dumb maggot! Did you get a crit on that? No. I did not get a crit, no. And damage <laughs> is plenty. Plenty, yeah. It's it's uh, five. Alright, you only have maggots left. out. Typically, normally that would end, but we can't leave until we get those bones. So, the maggot again is lost. The necromancer is displeased. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Alright, yeah, so it actually we... says right here, objective rooms are cleared only. Yeah. If the bones have been collected. Yeah, so Highwayman is next. Yep. So he has to use two. Uh, he's going to move in here for one yep. and get this for two. So we get to roll one die and get that much gold. Yep. So or, six gold. Yep. Or you could have done Or that. we could have done, oh, you know what? Should we do that instead? I thought it was a. I thought no, it was it's both. One or the other. So it's one or the other. Do you want me to. I, we should probably roll for more provision dice. All right, let's think? do it. Yep. Yeah, I think so. We should. That was uh an extra. Torch! What do you think? That's cocked. That's cocked. <laughs> it's cocked when No, it, it wasn't it apparently. Right. Perfect. Okay, more antidotes. We should never Man, get I, poisoned. <laughs> we no, just, we'll get poisoned, but we'll be like that's nothing. Just following it down. Alright. So the grave robber um really can't do anything but bleed. Look at that, I did that at the first of my turn. Hey! Okay. And then she's gonna come out here and, and cheer on the Vestal as the Vestal digs up the bone. So we now have a one bone and 20 gold. Yeah, yeah. From our adventure. So now we're done with this mapper doodle. Okay. All right, and what's we next? We are now here. So we gotta got to decide if we're gonna go up or if we're going to go down, and before that, we're going to... Um, so we can either go this track, mm -hmm. or we go up here, then yep. we can go down or up. Yeah, and this is a four square, so... Oh, no, it's not a four square. No, I, yeah, I didn't think it was. Interior or not. You have yep. to go around this way. Or you can go straight up. Oh, you can. Yep. First, let's uh, scout. I'll yep. stress each. The Crusader's feeling it, being up so in the... as we scout, we see a curio room and a treasure room. Hmm. Start with the Grave Robber. Highwayman. Stressful times. Oh, oh nice. And Crusader. Oh, trap. Not so bad. So starting with the Crusader. You need to go first. A trap. So you I can use a shovel to, to get rid of yeah, that, right? You have to smash it with a shovel. Yep, or take some damage. I'm definitely awesome. going to smash it with a shovel. Okay. And then Highwayman does nothing because he rolled a zipper doodle. All right, so I have a stressful darkness, so I can either take two stress or lower our torch again or burn our torch. Oh, man, you better take some stress, bro. If you don't, I'm going to think you're you the... You want the torch to be high, don't you? Well, that's what I'm saying. Don't take the torch. I, I just... I left it there. Okay. You want me to leave the torch and take the stress? Man. No! Oh, I, I, I forgot we rolled that torch. I can do one or other. I can use yeah, that torch good. that she you're was good. hanging you're on You're good. To. All right. And then Vestal's got nothing. So, we are now... Wait, which way did we go? We went to the treasure room? Um, sure. We didn't want to go to the curios room? supposed to call that out. Well... 50-50. Look at this. Okay, one to five, so... we're going curio. No, we're going to treasure. We like money better. <laughs> okay. So in the treasure room, it is guarded. So we are going to draw a random dungeon room. The invocation chamber. Ooh, that doesn't sound pleasant. No. Pull that out. Number okay, eight. so the invocation chamber looks like this. The invokers. The last monster each round always moves towards an area that has a red burst on it. So these things. So everybody's going to the middle. 
um, instead of following step three of their monster turn. Uh, and then in these things here, it's called the Evoking Abyss. If any monster is here at the end of the round, all heroes get plus two stress. Wow, that's nice. That, uh, you keep on using that word. I do not think it means what you think it means. <laughs> it might not. <laughs> okay. All right, so we are starting with, hey, look, it's your buddy. A maggot. I'm gonna, I told his, I told his buddy. What's up? So apparently he didn't get the memo. Cult Sprawler. Oh, this dude. Wolverine wannabe. <laughs> See, where does he go? The shield. Defense. Boom. Yeah. That goes there. Got another spitter. These bugs are just rude, spitting at people. That and goes we have a Weber. Up here. Look at that. We also need a. Up here, we have we have another one down there as well. Boom. So what did we say? Always moves. The last monster each round always moves towards. Oh. So the last monster would be whoever's the last initiative is headed to the middle. Everybody else is going to fight it out. So. Hmm. All right. So that spitter there is going to go. Yep. <clears throat> All right. Well, the maggot goes first. Oh, what's this? Wonder if he maggot? wants to go after. Yeah, you he have to go after the, the closest. So he's going to actually go after the grave robber. So accuracy seven, critical chance of three. So accuracy six. That's a hit. Four. Is that five damage? Oh no, three damage. Five damage, make me worried. Okay. So I'm at six of my 11. Oof. I take one stress and take one stun, which means I lose one of my actions. That is bad. And I take a disease. Did not want Man. to. So when I take damage, I take a blight for two turns. That great. I'm going to. Uh, I'm going to hang on to these. <laughs> I'm going to need them. <laughs> I'm going to need them. Sorry. So you're standing right next to the Vestal. Hey, man, hand, to the, hand those over. All right, oh. All right here we go. Cultist Crawler's next. At, you need to get better at shuffling that initiative mm. there, brother. So he wants to do a rend for the old gods against the closest. He needs to be one space away. She's got the movement. Ouch. Um, accuracy 8, critical chance 1. He's going to stab you with his watering claws. Yep, against the Crusader. Alright, that is 3 damage. Ow! We are taking it on the chin. Owie! It's a bleed for 3 turns. A debuff for 2 turns. Oh, I keep grabbing the 3s. So you bleed for bleed one, one, one for three turns. Okay, one for three turns, and then debuff. Debuff for two turns. For two turns. So this has to go here. Yeah. And I already took the damage. One stress. One stress. Yeah. Crusader is not enjoying himself. Nobody is really. <laughs> Crusader is definitely not enjoying himself. All right. He's getting yelled at by madmen, nibbled on by maggots. That. Who shuffled this stuff? And what in the world? <laughs> Who shuffled? All right, let's see. This guy wants to do a bite against the closest. So against the crusader. <laughs> His movement's only two, so he can move two forward, and that's all he's got. Okay. All right. All right, crusader's turn. Crusader. Man, uh, we're gonna, what you're gonna do. zealously accuse this guy for poking me. Mm -hmm. uh, so we are one away. We can target both monsters. So we'll zealously accuse at accuracy of nine. Um, uh, the zero spider has a dodge of one and a one. So for the spider, it has to be an eight. <laughs> I'm good at rolling tens, y'all. I'm good at rolling tens. We're really bad at accusing people of things. Well. Uh, I feel kind of weird. 
Accusing spiders. Accusing spiders <laughs> of being spiders. Yelling at spiders. All right, so the Highwayman. Highwayman, uh, Highwayman is going to do Grape Shot Blast, I believe. There we go. Um, because it can target multiple people, even though it's just three. What are their health? Five and, and 11. 11. Wow. Hmm. Well, if you critted one of those, you could pistol shot, take down that brawler, maybe. Maybe, maybe. Uh, maybe, maybe. maybe. Alright, so I'll I'll do Grape Shot Blast first. And hit him. Hopefully it works. And then we'll do Pistol Shot next on one of the dudes. Alright, here we go. So we have crit. Do we still have the crit one? Or we do. Was, we do? Okay. So yeah. that is uh, one for Grape Shot Blast. So accuracy eight. Nice. Got it. So, so crits, that's five damage on both of them. Both of your characters get a... Um, we get plus, stress. plus one stress, so that's good. Five damage on the spider would finish him off. Yeah! That was the Weber. All right. And then for my second, I'll do a pistol shot. So the Weber's gone, right? Yep. And so we've got this Wolverine wannabe in here, pistol shot, accuracy nine. <laughs> Look at that, another crit. <laughs> So, what am I whining about? You whining I ain't about? whining about nothing. Jeez, look I'm just at that. Taking folk out is what I'm doing. Blasting. I'm whining that I gotta run around with this crusaders, yelling accusations at people, making them mad. Well, the only good thing is, is that brawler has now been necromancered, so he's a skeleton now. Oh, um, sweet. Okay, that's it for me. Nice. All right, so Grave Robber has one chance to take this spider out before he wants to, uh, what is he? He's got five health. If I take him out, otherwise he's going to run over here. And we're all going to take two stress. Yep. Hmm. Actually, his speed's only one. Oh, it is? Yep. Oh, we got two shots at this he boy. He can't even get there. Dun, dun, um, dun. You got to get good, Spitter. Mm-hmm. Let's see here. But I don't have any range for both. Um, I think I may just walk forward. Two. Two. You should step on the maggot as you walk by. I did. Okay. But it didn't hurt. It didn't, didn't hurt it. He okay. didn't mind. It didn't <laughs> All right. Do that. Actually, I'll just walk forward one. Just to make sure I finish this guy off. And then I'm going to lunge. At the spitter. So charge forward with my rapier out. I don't know if I have a rapier, but if I did, accuracy is 10 minus 1, accuracy 9. So that's a hit for 7 damage. Um, He's toast. So he is toast. Spitter toast. That's going to move me back up here again. Okay. So, and no enemy gets to go at the end, so. You need the Vestal four. yet. No. The Vestal's turn. Yep. Yeah. Alright, just cleaning up the mess. The Vestal's turn. We'll do it. Um, I just cheated. I just cheated. Cheat? I had a stun. Here, you did? My stunts now. I take it all back or should I just save my stun for next? Um, um, I don't remember where these tokens are sitting there. I believe both of them. Both would. of them? Would require an asterisk at the end of this session. Mm. So I'm good with whatever you want to do. Well, here I'll just stay there and I'll lunge at the maggot instead. All right, do that enough would, damage to finish him off. That would have taken him out. Leave this better. Which means that Which he means now moves he forward now gets one. To go. Yep. Before the vessel went, because that was another monster yep. card. Yep. Yep. Sorry about that. Um, so then he would get to go, he doesn't get to go, That he won't be able to make it there, so he's going to go here instead, actually, he's going to do a bite attack against the closest, um, which he has to be zero, so that's all he could do anyways. Okay. That's the initiative card for the next round. Got it. And then the Vestal's turn, she's going to... Heal the Grave Robber. 
Yeah, might as well get some movement too, or should I just... I'll just stay back there and heal her twice. How's that? Also heal her the first good. time. So first one is for three. And the second one with Divine Comfort is for two more. That's Sweet. Turn. Okay. This is all shuffled. Yep, yep. Round two. I already met it. Grave Robber Grave is Grave Robber. Up. Finish okay. him. She can't technically finish him. What? No. Because she's in the first position now because she lunged up there. So she's kind of in a weird spot. So she's going to run up here, ignore the spider, <laughs> and pick up some loot. All right. And a torch? Yeah, I think so. All right. That's her turn. Crusader, you finish him. I can't. <laughs> I'm just going to go for a stroll. And uh, for my second action, I'm going to battle heal. you got a lot of tokens over there. Oh, yeah, I do. So I take one more damage, which puts me at five. So just give me a five. And then I also get rid of two of these debuff thingies yep. and so that goes on there and then I'm gonna battle heal. I'm gonna move one and then I'm gonna battle heal so I have a crit three but it's a nine I have an accuracy of 12 so I heal two so give me three back okay. and that's me all right monsters turn so instead of anything else, he's going to go here. And that doesn't take effect until the end of the round. End of the round. Okay. So he's going to move there to try to get us all stressed. Yep. And then Highwayman's next. Highwayman's next. So he'll go 1, 2, as he has a movement of 2. And might as well do a pistol shot, which is going to give him the 5 damage that he needs. So it's an accuracy of nine against a uh, dodge of one, so eight or high, eight or lower. Got eight. Eight. So that's five damage. There so he goes. Spitterman is deed. Okay, that's it. We missed a treasure. That's fine. But we killed another maggot, so it's worth it. Sweet. That puts us in the treasure room. Bum, 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 bum. And we get 20 bucks. We just get 20 bucks for going to the treasure room? Yeah, for defeating the monsters for there. For defeating the monsters there, yep. He's up to 40. <clears throat> yeah, 40 and one bone. <sighs> All right. Now and here we can go both ways too as well, right? We can go there or there. Let's um, scout. We can scout and we could actually, if we want to, use our camp. So we have eight points in the camp. So I think we should. All right, so we're scouting first. That'll show us two rooms. Ah, look at that. Okay, well, we know which way we need to go. Yep. <laughs> and then do we want to use our... Camp right now, or do camp? we need to roll for this first? No, nope, we camp before we leave. Okay. Yeah, so we have eight camp. to use total. Um, we're doing okay, except for a little bit of stress. I'm not doing so hot over here. So how about I take one and you take seven? Okay. And then, uh, I have seven, so I'll heal four from him. And then four, five, six, seven. Okay. We'll do that. Alright, so we can no longer camp this dungeon. We don't need to. Alright, so now we are headed over there. Grave robber. She's right. Highwayman, trap, crusader, All right. darkest, whatever. Okay. So, and then we can rearrange those guys. If you'll put that grave robber back where she belongs, she just keeps charging forward. I like her initiative, though. She's she's got some gumption about uh -huh. her. I like it. All right. Well, starting with the crusader. All right. darkness, we either lose one torch or burn a torch. We just got one. So. Okay. so we burned a torch. He's done. Hi, we men. Uh, uh, we still so have a shovel. You have to either roll an attack. Yep, and I need a shovel here, too. Um, this is one stress, one damage. 
And that is a... That's an attack, isn't it? It's an attack. Uh, you have to roll an 8. An accuracy of 8 or below, you take 2 damage. Um, with a crit of 2, you take 3 damage. So you can either roll an attack against yourself or burn that, and I'll do 1 and 1. I'm okay with stress, so I'm good either way. Okay, so let's do that. Then. I'll burn the, I'll burn the shovel. All right. That gets rid of this. And the grave robber is hungry. So if I didn't eat some food... I would take some damage. <laughs> the last time we played, wasn't the Grave Robber the one that was like eating all the food? No, it was my other guy. Who was who was I playing with last time? The, the Occultist? The Occultist? Okay. Yeah, the Occultist was... Dude super, was like... He was Nomin. Super, like super... Had the munchies. Yep. Oh, and I almost did, got rid of that. I had to take one damage there. And take stress. Okay. Okay. We made it to the next room. Mm -mm -mm. So we are back to that same board. Did you shuffle the initiative deck? I did. Okay. Wait, we're back to the same. We're oh, this to, same board. Yeah, the same. Yeah, the the. Did you put it on the bottom? I do it. I think I did. There it is. Okay, that's well, how we had it last time. We know the drill. All right. Ooh, beast in the front, a pliskin. Oh, 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 oh. is down Another here. Another brawler. All right, snakes. They don't get enough. Why did it have to be snakes? Shield. Oh, what in the world? Another brawler. Joyous. Joyous. This is what I call a target-rich environment. So just for now, we're gonna take one of these armor because nobody has armor yet. We're gonna take one of these armor tokens just to mark that second guy. Yep. And the last one is a bone soldier. The first one the necromancer is not going to destroy. Bone soldier is ready. <laughs> That's right. Where's he goes in here? Doki Doki. They're actually facing off. They are? They're sparring. You know, they're chatting. Training. Just chilling. When we walk into the little treasure room. So Pliskin uh, goes first. So Snake Pliskin gets to go first, huh? Yep. And he wants to do a infuse <laughs> against the closest. Is he making a latte? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> but he's going to charge forward <laughs> at the Crusader to infuse him. Um... Uh, this is what it says, right? I'm not, I'm not losing my mind. Yes, infuse. Okay. Okay. He's going to and infuse my skin with his poison. Crit chance two, accuracy of ten. What? There's a crit. Dang it. Crit is seven damage. One extra stress. Did you take the stress? I will take the stress because that's stressful getting bit. And two blight My for three turns. Goodness. Two blight for three turns? Yep. I need one of them antidotes. You might. Okay. Good. Boy, he just shot forward. What did you say he bit? Did he bite your hand? Uh, I don't know what. He, he bit something. <laughs> he bit something. All right, Crusader's up. So, uh huh. You gonna? So you gotta drop some. Uh, I'm gonna take. Uh, yeah, give me another five, or if the, give me a ten if you have it. I don't think you do. Give me just yeah, give me another. You got there. Give you me got another five. Nine. Give me another five. Oh no! Uh, I you need five, give me a total. five. Give me seven. And there this goes go. away as well. Gosh, I'm at twelve. So Good thing I have. Huh? Yeah, thirsty. Yeah, okay. okay. Good night. Do you want to drink one of these? Good night. Yeah, I got to. So I can get rid of these blights. Okay. Um, my first... I can run over there to heal you. Yeah, well, how's he's got nine health. All right. I'm going to heal. I'm going to do a battle heal first. Um, we have plus one crit, right? I do. All right, so that's a crit, which means I don't get a plus one stress. Um, but you heal four? But I do heal four, yeah. So, yeah, just give me the one back. 
Nice. That's not bad. And then we'll do a Even smite. Even the Vestal's impressed. <laughs> Like, wow, she, she she felt the force. Oh, that was nice. You know, she lent you that paper, so <laughs> she did. All right, so I'm going to do smite one. It's accuracy a nine, mm. crit of one. Uh, what is a snake? Uh, dodge, dodge of one, one, so eight. All right, so it's a hit. Is that seven damage on the snake? Seven. Yeah, it's nice. Almost. I know. Too okay. short. All right, Highwayman is next. Highwayman is right there. He has quite a nice little. What is the skeleton's health? Skeleton seven is seven. Goodness gracious! The brawlers are both eleven. Yeah. All right, we'll do. Can he grape chop two? Yeah. Spaces. Um, if he moves one. one. But if he grapes, if if it works the first time, you don't you can't use it the second time. The second time. But it's uh it is only one space uh, zero mm -hmm. one space away, so it can target up to three. So I was gonna go here, and I'll do grape shot blast over here, hoping I get a crit. It's a accuracy eight, crit one. Come on, one or eight. just eight. eight. Well, um, I don't know if it does or not. Neither one of them has any dodge. Okay, so it, it does work. So that's three damage for both of them, and they both get one debuff. Okay. You have the debuffs. Um, I do. So this and that. Okay. All right. Okay. Um, and then I will pistol shot. Can't you moved? Oh, snap. Yep, I did. You're out, buddy. I am. Okay. Pull the sprawler. Uh, oh, why did I more. skip that guy? That's what I said, Pull the sprawler. <laughs> um, he's in the defensive position. He wants to do a rend for the old gods against the closest, which happens to be the highwayman. So he's going to stay one space away and roll an accuracy. You've got one dodge. So crit chance one, accuracy seven. I am great at critting against myself here. Okay, so that's five damage. Ow. That is one stress for taking a crit. That's a bleed for three turns. You got the bleeds. Oh, I do, I do, I do, I do. Okay. A debuff for two turns. We're not done yet. <laughs> and one more stress. Hmm. Debuff for two turns. Uh huh. And one more stress. Yep. So we are effectively getting our tails kicked. No, we're not. Oh, we're okay. fine. All right. Okay. Next up, grave robber. So, who has a gun yet? That bone soldier. Who can I actually bone get? Soldier. Bone soldier. Well, actually, that's you can take him out too. I know. Just so. We get hit one less time. The other brawler has three damage. And I can't do that much without a crit. But I can throw a dagger. I can throw a dagger at the bone soldier first. Accuracy nine, critical chance three. So that's a nine, barely. Mm -hmm. Four damage against the bone soldier. Takes him out. Takes him out. But he's actually going to go back in the deck eventually. Okay. And then I'm going to do another lunge because I'm good at that. I'm going to lunge forward into here. Divide and conquer. Accuracy is 10. Crit chance 2. Got him. Okay. 7 damage. Not enough. Ooh. It's him right at 10. Where did my 10s go? There's a 10 in there somewhere. Man. But, and that'll move me too forward on that as well. Again. Right. And next up is the Vestal. 
So, how's, how's he doing? Five. I'm five. I can't he's, over there. he's not doing too bad either. Cause I just can't eight. go that far. I'm too slow. So, I'm, I'm, both of my guys are I'm fair going, to middling. I'm going to step forward. And instead of healing anybody like a good healer, I'm going to do Dazzling Lights against the Cultist Brawler. <laughs> um, <laughs> that just sounds funny. I'm sorry. Oh, he's resistant to stun. You're doing sparkle fingers in the middle of a in the middle of a dungeon. I was thinking about it, but I'm not going to. He's immune to stun, so the stun wouldn't help. No. So instead, I'm going to stay here. I'm going to heal you with divine comfort. Okay. Um, critical chance four. <gasps> yes. There's a crit, so I gain one of these. You get um, three health. Well, you only get two because of that. I'm sickly. Yeah. So quit being sickly. <laughs> and then I guess I'll heal you again with the divine grace. Oh, <clears> and <throat> divine comfort, I get to heal myself too. Divine grace, that's three more, so two more. Alright. I feel, I'm feeling much better. Poor Vestal. All she does is heal you over and over again. <clears throat> that's her job. That's what we hired her for. It's no. She has our gratitude and gratitude. thanks. And when we get back to town, I'm gonna take her out for lunch. Nice. Well, have you have seen the the lunch place? It's kind of destroyed right now. So. <laughs> That's it's why. More I'm like a, do it. More like a picnic place. <laughs> hmm. Open air. All right. Here we go. Um, yeah, hopefully I get to go Round before two. this stupid snake goes. Agreed. Stupid snake. Dang it! Stupid snake. <laughs> stupid snake. Stupid snake wants to infuse <laughs> Yeah, you. I'm tired of your, <laughs> I'm tired of your chai latte ways, right. Riskin. Critical chance two, accuracy of ten. Ten. <laughs> so I have no dodge. Yeah, so no at dodge. least it's not a crit. Okay, so that's four damage. <laughs> oh my gosh. So, there's a one. That is three blight, or two blight for three turns. Oh my goodness. This thing is potent. And... Wouldn't wonder out too far, it. fellas. This yeah. sniper's got talent. <laughs> All right. Fliskin is done. Alright, Grave Robber's up. <clears throat> Alright, so now Grave Robber has to decide. Hmm. Well, Fliskin's already gone. This guy's only got one health. Problem is, I don't have any... Oh, yeah, I can pick him in the face. Pick in the face. Let's do it. <laughs> I would never forget that I had that ability. <laughs> I have a pickaxe to, pick the, to face. the face. Alright. <laughs> Um, accuracy 9, crit chance 2. Right, that's a Got hit him. for 4 damage. Yeah, pickaxe to the face, you dumb brawler. Got it. He is out of the game. Take that off now. Okay, second turn, second action. Um... Nothing really good. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to use my three movements since she's pretty fast. Did you already pick up a chest here? No, I just didn't put it out. All right. I'm going to move over there. I'm going to run in the corner and la and hide. Mm. I'm watching the Yeah, you're watching the show. melt. Yeah, you're watching the show. It melts here. slowly. Getting infused with... Okay, mm -hmm. Crusader's up next. All right, Crusader. We know what the Crusader's going to do. He's going to re-infuse. He's the... going to run. Um, no, he's going he's already to... he got seven damage. He's got two left. <clears throat> okay, well, first of all, he's going to take a bleed. So I need another one, please. And some blight. Yes, and two That's more. Yours. So three altogether. Uh -huh. uh, so he's going to give me a five. Okay. Hey, I'm, at, I'm at 15 of 17, so... Okay. I'm going to try to, uh, first of all, battlefield heal. And this is a crit three... <laughs> nice. Yeah, yeah. Give me one back. That I'm gonna drink one of them potions. We still got one. Yep. 
and get rid of this blight. We are running out of supplies. It's okay. We're also running out of targets. Um, so then I'm going to, what has it got? It's got two hit points two hit left. Points. Well, I'm all accuracy nine anyway, so I'll do smite one. That's what I have to do because I'm there. So, um, uh, yep, or it's a hit. hit. Seven damage. Got rid of the big nasty. Yes. Stupid. And, and if nothing else, he doesn't get to come back ever. So. Yeah. Because of that necromancer. Okay. All right, that's that. Come on, high women. Okay. No. All right, Cult Sprawler wants to do a rend of the old gods against the highwaymen. Um, so go ahead and roll. Accuracy, Accuracy eight. eight or seven. Okay, he hits. That's a hit. Three damage. That is. Oh, a... give me, give me. No, it's not your turn yet. Oh, that's right. Hit a three damage, debuff for two, extra debuff, two more. Um, one more stress, and that actually pulls him forward. Last time, that's okay. He would have stepped back anyways. Okay. Okay. All right, well, it's Highwayman's turn. All right, so... We don't need these. We will do... He's got 11 hit points, huh? He does. Fully health. Full health. Alright, we're going to do open vein first. Nice. Uh, am I in that? Yeah, I am. Cool. So, we're going to do open vein. So, that's a accuracy of 10. Uh, crit of 1. Nice. 10. Oh, 10. <laughs> that's 5 damage. Okay. And a bleed. And, uh, yeah, two, um, two for two turns. Two for two turns. So there's that. Um, and then we'll also do, uh, Grape Shot Blast. I can't kill him, but might as well, right? Mm. Can you shoot him at zero range with it? Yeah, yeah, zero to one. Yep. That's a miss. That's a miss. Okay. And you would have taken one damage from a bleed and lost I one of your, have... or one of each of those. One of each of these. Boom. Boom. That puts you back so at five. give me five, yeah. Swimming. Mm -hmm. Swimmingly exciting. Yes, yes, yes. All right. So that's that. So that was Highwaymen, Vestal's last. Vestal is going to... Why is he immune? He needs six health. Six. I need to do three damage to him. If I crit him, I could do three damage. But I'm going to do it anyways. I'm going to do Dazzling Light. You need four damage. Oh, I'm going to do that, yeah. I know. I need four? You need four. Because uh, he's got six left and he's going to take oh, yeah, two yeah, at the beginning of his four. turn. Okay. Before that, I better heal you. So I'm going to do Divine Grace. For three health, or just two. two. And then I'm going to Dazzling Light him at range one. <laughs> sparkle at Fingers. Crit chance two, that's right, Sparkle Fingers. Oh, that was a two. Okay, so he's going to take two damage, which ain't enough, is not enough, but I'm going to move the torch up one. That's cool. So. Sparkle Fingers is cool. Sparkle fingers is cool. All right, Ooh, on to round getting three. Getting close here. Oh, we got this. <laughs> we got this. We do have to go get our stuff though. Yeah, All right, grave robbers first. I'm gonna do some grave robbing. So should I go for money or another item? I think we need some items. <sighs> we got we got plenty of cash, bro. No, we only got forty. All right, <laughs> item it is. <laughs> I'm a grave robber. I'm not going go there looking for torches. Oh, how about that? That's good. We've been getting a lot of poison. <laughs> Whatever. All right. And then one, two, three. I'll run back there. And that's 
that's it for her turn. Mm -hmm. well, at least we got chest. All right, Crusader is up next. Crusader can do not much. He will move one, mm -hmm. and then battle heal. And that's two damage. So, um, just give me three. Okay. All right. Um, that's, it. that's it. Okay. This guy's gonna go. He's gonna bleed for two. Mm -hmm. That'll put him at ten. Wait. Come on. Somebody just needs a blow on him or a fart on him or nice. something. Excuse me. I never said I could do math. Put him at 9 out of 11. And then he is going to run for the old gods against the closest. So what he's going to do, he's going to back up over here, get a running start, and try to hit you again. Alright. That was a 10, but it's a 4. It's a 4. So he's going to shoot back forward. He's going to hit you for 3 more damage. Just give me a five. Or a ten. Just stay in there. Or a ten. <laughs> you know what? I'm ten? Alright. I'm gonna hit you for three damage. He's gonna give you one bleed for three turns. And debuff for two turns. Oh jeez. This and, guy. And one more stress. I don't like dealing with these guys. No, he's brutal. <clears throat> that's that's freaking a lot of chance to get. Critted. All right. Oh, one more. Should, should these have been helping him crit? They should have. They did. They added to his crit, but he oh, rolled okay. higher than that. So. Okay. Yes. That's <clears throat> okay. So that just leaves us with the highwayman and the vestal. So highwayman's up. All right. Highwayman is going to try to open that vein again, yo. Accuracy ten, crit one. Got it. It's five damage. Okay. So he is out of the game. Um, you have one more action. You get a bleed for two first. Get rid of one of some of those debuffs. Um, got one more action. Mm -hmm. You're just gonna clean up here. I can't. I got the Vestal. She that would take all of her turns to go over there. So she's probably gonna stand there and heal you for one round because she doesn't have a choice. So I'll just go here. And on my next uh, turn, I'll I'll pick that up. Okay. Or is there a better idea? No, that's probably good since we have the opportunity. We just need to make sure. Um, oh, she's already you're gone. Gonna go first, yeah. So it, it, you won't get the chest either way. Stay right here. So that I can heal you twice. Okay. Probably. Okay. So then the Vestal's turn. She's not going to move anywhere. She's going to heal you. Divine Grace. First one is for two. Since you're... Yep. But is it... Yep. That's mine. Three also. Yeah. Okay. And then the second one, Divine Comfort. Um, for one. Give me one of those. This one. It's supposed to be two. Okay. Okay. All right, round four, no baddies. So it'll be his turn. Oh, it's a good opportunity to. And it's a good opportunity. Move one and heal. And it's a crit three, so it's just regular. So I just heal two. Okay. Um, That's he's it. done. And oh, actually, no, 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 wait, you go first. I wouldn't have been able first. to do that. Give that back. Keep thinking he's up front. Okay. The Great Robert could step. Nah, it's not worth it. No. We'll just take it. It's fine. There you go. Right. Now we're hoping. Great Robert's collecting. That stuff. that last room is right next to right us. Right there. <laughs> yes. <laughs> All right. Take your guy in our chests. And then take a stress to. <laughs> take a stress to scout. Yep. Can do that. All right, we're scouting. Oh, there we go. Is it? Nope. Oh. It's a trap. What is this thing? That's a combat room. It's a we're combat room. We're going to have combat. The trap is going to do damage if we get to take two damage each. We 
can take that stress or damage as we walk through. We can back up and take a stress to back up and then move forward that way. Um, there's a chance that's a combat room as well. But this is two no, corridors. It's not. Because there's only one combat room in there. No, but there's a chance in a curio room that it's a combat. Got it. So, uh, so anyways, we either have back up and go to the curio or we just trudge through. So that'd be one, two, three encounter rolls just to get to the next room that way. Or we take two stress each. Or we go home back to town, lick our wounds and take our two experience points. Which I'm not exactly opposed to. Um, we don't have a torch for that curio. So if we go back to town, when we come back, we'll be on our second. We'll be on our second dungeon. Second dungeon. Yep. Let's do that. Let's go to. Let's go to town and lick our wounds a bit. And before we do that, let's use two of these up since we have them. So. We might as well do the Grave Robber 1 and you 1, because then you can go to town and heal up some more. Okay, those get rid of... A heal. One each? Just one each. Alright, so... the Grave Robber will be full I'll for next round. I'll take two of these. Yep. Oh, yeah. And one, one for the food, so that's... Okay. And then we have two of those, which are two... What about bleeds and all that? Those won't That, that just those goes away, right? So yeah. we have two of these, they can cure one. Who's got the most stress? I got five up there. We'll give one stress relief to each of these and use up the last of our... That's it. Got it. Alright, we're going back to town. Okay. Alright, so now we have come back to... The Hamlet. Our quiet little humble abode... in the middle of all this mess of darkness. Mm-hmm. All right, so um, we left the dungeon kind of prematurely. We did get two out of the three bags of skeletons that we were looking for. We did make 40 bucks um, because we found that treasure room and... Uh, one curio. Yeah, one curio. So we did... not bad. Oh. Not bad. We did get two experience points each because we get we each get one experience point for each of the different... Uh, bone uh, piles that we found. So that's not bad. But, um... Which we can spend now or save for later. Yep. Two for your other guy. Thank you. And the town also gets two as well. <gasps> the town gets experience. It's a stagecoach. Chin, chin, chin. Okay. All right, so first things first, we draw a Hamlet event card, yeah? Yep. And so we'll flip that over, and it says, Traveling Merchants, Distrust and Hope, Embodied onto these men's faces, their gain, our survival. After rolling for provisions, each hero can choose one of their own provisions die to, do, uh, to be whatever they want before the next quest. And then we have okay. two days. Two days to prepare. To prepare. Yep. Okay. So we roll ten sided dice to see where the groundskeeper is going to be working today. Hold on, wait. Ah, six. He is going to work in the graveyard, which we can't go to the graveyard anyways due to necromancer. Yeah. So, so he covers up. Covers up the graveyard. All right, but we still have the guild that we can go that's right below yes. it. Alrighty. All right. So starting with the crusader, he gets to pick a spot, whether it's on the board here. or... On your own. Uh, let's see, the Crusader has... He's got 7 health. Mm -hmm. I mean, 7 damage out of 17, so... He also has 4 stress. I can come to the Sanitarium and heal for 3 bucks. Heal 10 for 3 bucks. Um, I can heal stress for 1 at the Tavern. Mmm... We what were you thinking about doing? Well, the trick is we have two diseases. Yeah. And we need to go to the sanitarium to get rid of diseases. So we either have to go to the next one with more diseases or uh, or with disease, diseases or we need to um, try to... What does the upgrade for the sanitarium give us? Does it give us... It is... Well, it still will only have two visits. 
so. Yeah, that's true. We only have two days. We only have two visits. So, so it's just cheaper, basically. Um, yeah, it actually heals 7, 14, and removes the disease instead oh, yeah, of 3 and 10. Right. But, hmm. so, your disease isn't super bad, because you're not buffing yourself all the time. No. But mine's pretty nasty. Well, I would say let... Because that's whenever you do damage, you take bleed, right? Whenever I... Huh? Whenever I take damage, I take bleed. Whenever you take damage, it also gives you mm -hmm. uh, blight. Yep. Okay. Blight. So. Yeah, excuse me. So I would like one of those two turns for her to go there. Well, but um. If he uses one. I think I'll go to. Oh, you only need to go for once. Yeah. Once. All right. So I think I'll go there this time and pay three gold to heal ten. Okay. Which will get me back up to, to uh, full health. Oops, sorry. Just back at, you want to give me two more gold over there? You have gold, actually. Two more gold. Okay. One, two. Highwayman's turn. Highwayman. Highwayman is... Uh, hmm. I think uh, he'll go to... I think the Highwayman will go to the... What if I remove this? This was kind of nastiness. That's a nasty. What if yeah, I what if I remove one. that at the abbey? <clears throat> yep. Um, I think I'll do that. So, so just two bucks. Yep, two bucks. That gets rid of this guy. Okay. So for the grave robber, I'm not too bad on stress. I could heal up some stress. I could upgrade one of my skills. Or. Bias provision. Um, we Ooh. could. What does the upgrade on the survivalist do? If we uh, gain plus one provision f dice for the next run. So if we upgraded it, so we know we could buy two for three. For three, so that might be a thought. How much does it cost to upgrade? Twenty. We've got it, right? Yeah, we do. Um, I'm good. Depends on how much more we're gonna. I think that's a good use. idea, actually. Get two more provisions. So we'll spend 20 to do that. Okay. We'll spend 20 to do that. That puts us a little cheap, and then I'll go here to make it worthwhile. Mm -hmm. and spend three. For two dice. Two more dice. So, mm -hmm. so when we start, we're going to have two dice each. Mm -hmm. Do you have any left over there? I don't. When we start, we'll have that, and then we'll get two more here. So she'll get two more. Yeah, yeah. Okay. And for the Vestal, I'm actually going to go to... She only has three there. I'm going to go to my own spot on my board. Everybody's going to heal one stress. All you guys Everybody are heals one? one? Stress, yeah. And everybody's going to get buffed for three turns. Oh, but that's hurt. that hurts me. Mm -hmm. So he's going to gain two stress, but overall, it's still a win. Hmm. So if you want to give us all three turns of buff, hopefully that'll that's... help us. Now, when is that? Whenever I use a buff, I get I take two stress. Or is that just now? I take two stress when I get buffed. When you get buffed, yeah. Okay. Don't get buffed anymore. But he can go oh. re relieve stress next, right? Okay, so that's day one. Yep, move that down. So now day this two. dude. Hmm? <clears throat> yeah, because he he we probably want him to get rid of stress. Mm -hmm to get rid of a disease. What? How much money do we got? We got twelve. So that's going to cost us three, four, five. And then I was planning on going here and getting upgrading a level. Nice. So I'll do that. And then he's just going to go here to heal stress. So three bucks. I need to use his two experience points and yep. two bucks. 
I did. I, did, I spent the bucks okay. and I spent the dollars for that. All right, so that leaves him with six. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. That leaves us with uh, seven dollars. It's up to you. Okay. Oh. And I think I'm going to upgrade my uh, battle heal. I'm going to go here to spend two to remove the disease. Which makes me um, happy. Upgrade a level one skill card. So I have a question. Mm -hmm. I have a question. When I upgrade battle heal, does it go here? Where Battle Hill was, or does it come down here? No, you only get the level two spot when your character is level two. Got it. And then you'll get a fourth. You'll get to use. You'll four get things. a four thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, got it. So okay, so we have one more. She doesn't have a quirk. We don't want a one off. I could buy a trinket. No, I couldn't. We don't have enough money. Um, so do I think we're crazy if I go here and buy two more? <laughs> I don't think so. Why not? Okay. That was really hurting us. We we really went into the dungeon crippled last turn. We did. All right. Well, we're done in town. It's time to go out and adventure. Okie dokie. Now this is a this bonus or this survival level two will be stay there for the rest of the campaign. Yeah, that's cool. Alrighty. Well, let's get to it. <laughs> Alright, the quest is wipe them out. The monster's unholy presence tainted the very opulent halls of this estate, casting dark shadows over its ruins. Thus, your orders were quite clear. Slay them all. And so we're going to get, good night, three combat rooms, two trap rooms, uh, two empty rooms, Yep, and a stressful darkness. And a stressful darkness. <sighs> and so we're going to get one experience point for each layer cleared. For each combat room we destroy. Yeah. Yep. Wow. All right, so this will come on over here like a so. We do have one camp of 12 instead of 8 like it was last time, so that's pretty cool. But this... Our goal is three combat rooms. But we can still leave anytime we want. Anytime we want, and we've quote unquote passed. Yep. All right. We won't get any experience, but we would right. get out. So, yep. Okay. So we could go in there and say, forget about it. I'm good. Forget about it. <laughs> forget no, about we won't it. do that. We won't do that. All right, let's roll for provisions. Yep. Yes. Now remember, each one of us will roll them separately because each one gets to pick a provision dice to switch to a face they want because of our. Town hall abilities, so. Alright, let's see. Here. Actually, we got a. I rolled the same thing for both of my dudes. Okay. So I'm gonna switch one of my antivenoms to a torch. Okay. That would be for that one. So, oh, jeez. That was a bandage, sorry. Um, so that's our that's our start. Um, do we need. The antivenoms are just. I'm gonna switch my other antivenom to a food. I'm sorry, I'm. Uh, and then I'll stick with two torches, and then this one's a wild, so... Probably oh, I think we should take some antivenom. So I'm gonna, yep. we're going to cab the two. Um, and then we've got a couple shovels, in case we need it. we got another shovel there. Um, i got another shovel here, so I can change one of these into whatever I want it to be. So we could do another food. Another food. Or we could do another torch. I like torches. Um, you have another shovel, right? We, we probably want the other shovel. We want the other shovel. Okay, yeah. there we go. And this uh, vial can get turned into food. Can get turned into anything you want. And then we still have one more wild that we can use. Okay. Well then, why don't we turn this into food and make that one a torch then? All right, right on. That's a little better than last time. Uh, it's a lot better than last time, actually. <laughs> but... We'll take it. We paid for it, though. Yes, we did. Okay. All right, we got lots of supplies. 
We are ready to just one connection, just straight up. Straight up, okay. Time to scout? Sure. So we take a stress, take a stress each for scouting. We'll take a look at it before we have to go there anyways. Oh, there's no connection here too, so we gotta go all the way up and around. Oh, and yeah. it is a trap room. Oof. Okay. So everybody gets a oof, oof, oof. exploration dice before we get there. Highwaymen. Jeez. Okay. Starting with the Crusader. Crusader, trap. Um, I'm going to use a shovel. And this is the uh, stressful darkness. Stressful darkness. So we either have to take two stress, drop a torch, or burn a torch. Um, I'll go ahead and just take the stress right now. Because okay. Graver okay. got nothing, and I got a trap. So I'm actually going to roll that trap to do damage. It's an accuracy of eight. Okay, so that still takes two damage. Ooh. That's not good for her. I don't care. Every time she heals somebody, she gets two back almost. Oh, okay, cool. She's not too worried. Cool beans, cool beans. Okay. So that puts us in the trap room. Yep. So each of us takes two damage. Now that two damage can be health or stress. Your choice. So we can take one and one? One and one. Um, I'll do... Oh, man. I, I forgot I had five damage I that we do. didn't heal. I'm gonna do two damage to the grave robber. I'm gonna do two stress to the grave to the high women, and then I'll do uh, uh, I'll just take two regular damage for the crusader. All right, so now we have two connections, so we can scout again. Yep. Might need to heal. Might use a tank. Our campfire soon. Just kidding. Scout again. We all take a stress. I'll take a stress. We get a look where we're going, and then we need to decide where we're headed. Ooh oh dear. <laughs> so if this is so, when we walk in there, it just drops our torch level by one automatically. Um, That's all that happens there, though. Yeah, but every time we, if we walk into there, we come down here and encounter, and we walk back, it's going to drop it again. Yeah. Um, so if that's one of our combats, we may not get to it. Well, we're here. We are. So we could look. We either got to go now. We could scout. We got to go to the darkness to scout. Yep. Cost us a torch. Let's go scout it. I think we should. All right, let's do it. Because if that's one of our rooms, it would be better to do it now before we get all the way over here and then not ever. It might be. Or it might about. be better to run over there and hit two and run away. Um, run away, run away. <laughs> it's the rabbit. It's the rabbit. <laughs> Uh, we can do it. Let's do it. What are we doing? Darkness or trap? We'll do darkness. There we right, go. So we gotta, we gotta get there first. Highwayman. Oh crap! Crusader. Oh, oh. dang! Okay. Starting with crusader. Crusader. Two stress or burn a torch. Burn a torch. Right? Yep. I gotta burn a torch. Okay. Because I'm just too high on on stress. All right. And then this is a trap. One of these? Yep. Okay. Here we go. Good thing we brought all the extra stuff. I mean it. Um, We're burning through it pretty quick, all though. Alright, so I'm going to eat. We are burning through it. And I am going to use a torch for her curio. Yep. So only the good I don't stuff. I a nasty curio. Bookshelf. Hey, that's the same bookshelf I had before. <laughs> we did shuffle. Um, a big bookshelf. Uh, looms in front of you. As you reach out, a spiny ornament falls on your head. Huh. Seems like that's happened before. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to take one stress. I would take... Oh, I'm not going to take a stress because I used the torch. Yeah, one, you only, you no only stress, get the good stuff. No nothing. So it's I'm just going to take a trinket. And actually, I guess that happened to the grave robber last time. So One trinket. My trinket says I can use a damage stone. Get plus three damage on an attack. Uh, when you take damage, you stuff another on this side. I am going to hand that damage stone to... You know what? I think I'll hand it to him. All right. It'd be nice to add plus three damage to a grape shot or something. Yeah. So Awesome blossom. And you can trade those freely when you're not in combat. So. Yeah. All right. All well, right. that puts us in a darkness room. So. All right. One stress to... 
Man. See? Well, there's your room that you wanted. Yeah, there you go. Okay, here we go. Highwaymen. We are yes. moving on down the line. Crusader. Oof. Uh, Crusader got hungry. Okay. He's wearing that armor. Starting with the Crusader. We got one food left. Yep. Nothing for the Highwaymen, so we're good. Okay, I got a trap for the Grave Robber. <laughs> and one last shovel. We're going to use it up. Take damage now or take it later. Now we got a stressful darkness, so I really don't want to take two. Um, boy. We're doing good. We're doing great. <laughs> there we go. Like what about Bob? Combat room. I feel good. I feel <laughs> great. I feel wonderful. Alright, here we go. What do we got? The Tomb, the Tomb of, the of the Ancestors. Ancestors. Number seven. That's the one we uh, were We've doing the thin bones. Yeah. All right, and this one is the green area is ancestors' glory. Heroes standing here are immune to blight, bleeding, debuffing, uh, stun, Mark. marking, and buffing. Oh. Remove any of these conditions if already applied. Wow. Hmm. Well, there we have it. So, all right. Put you guys on the board. Here we go. Got a Weber. Okay. Weber in the back. Oh wait, that's a we got got this guy comes over here. Man, this Weber keeps showing up, dude. Mm -hmm. There's too many spiders down here. And we need two chests. Yep, got it. Alright, a brigand fusilier. We've got a new guy. Ooh. Bringing in a musket. Brigand Fusilier. Bringing in a musket to a pickaxe fight. <laughs> Sounds like he's cheating. If you ain't cheating, you ain't trying. Ooh, two of them. Okay, now that's that's overkill. Alright, so you want to shuffle those uh, initiative cards? Yep. Probably already dead, but... Okay, I'm going to use one of these little... None of those guys have armor. I'm going to use a little armor symbol on this one. Since we don't have cool colored bases yet. Alright. Alrighty. Whoosh! We have four... Is that really we have four freaking deals left? <laughs> hey, um... <laughs> But we know half of what's out there already. We do know half of what's out there. All right. So here we go. Starting off with this guy. Brigand Fusilier. He Shots wants fired. to do a mustard shot. Uh, yeah. Mustard shot? But a mustard shot. <laughs> that is a rust shot. Well, I mean, I got a, I got a grape shot, so maybe he right. does, you know, shot. mustard shots. All right. He wants to do a rust shot against the closest. Which would be you. Mm -hmm. He's gonna have to move forward one. That was your first mistake, buddy. And read then... my scroll. Crit chance two, accuracy of six. Two. There's a crit. <sighs> you can take one stress. I can take, so you I can. don't have to. <laughs> you have to take one stress. <laughs> Five damage, <laughs> and then he pushes himself back one space. So we can either push him here, or we can push him there. It's totally up to us. I'll push him back over there. Okay, and then that's also going to push him in the combat tracker back one space. Okay. To replace with his buddy, who's going to do the same rush shot later. All right. And he would like to do a rush shot now, not later. Oh. Okay, so he wants to do that against the closest target. So one, two, one, two, three. So he's going to go here, and it's going to be against the highwayman. Why do my guys always get shot first? <laughs> I don't know. Accuracy of five, critical <laughs> chance of two. He missed. And that's a miss. I don't know why you got shot at so much. Crusader, you're up. Uh -huh. I think it's all the taunting. That's probably it. He's like yelling at people as he's walking through the dungeon. So people know exactly where he is. Alright, so we'll come over here. 
and uh, we'll My do. Vestal has not yelled yet. We'll do. <laughs> we'll do. Uh, zealous accusation. And this is a uh, accuracy nine. He has a, 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 a what do you call it? Dodge a one. Dodge a one. So right. it is a hit. So he takes five damage. Five damage to this guy. Yeah. He only has eight hit points, so three left. Mm -hmm. and that's it. That was it. I moved one and then yelled at him for a little bit. Okay. Highwayman's turn. Highwayman! Now this guy is cramping my style. Because I was going to come in here and grape shot these fools, but now... Remember you have an extra um, crit chance. I do, I do, I do. So I have to get rid of that. Actually, I should have got rid of that as well. Yep. So both of those are gone. So I do have an extra crit shot, a crit chance, so... I guess you have, a, I have, you have these over there. But. Yep, I do. All right. Um... That case, I'm going to go ahead and just do pistol shot one. That gives me a chance of two for crit with an accuracy of nine, so it's two to eight. What I'm looking for, I could use this, which would kill him. Even on a normal hit? Even on a normal hit. Nice. So that is a hit. Normal hit, I'll use it. Okay. So that's eight damage, which takes him out of the picture. You gone, buddy, you gone. And the Necromancer eats him. And so now when I take damage, I have to suffer... I'm not familiar with that symbol. Just two more health? To to flip this back over again, anytime you take damage, you can... Suffer two extra? Two more to flip it back. Got it. Otherwise, it'll stay there until you go back to town, and then it'll turn over when you get back to town. Right. So, okay. Okay. Uh, so that wait. That, that was, was shot. pistol shot one. Mm -hmm. um, so I already used that. So I can't use grape shot blast. I should have used grape shot blast first, but that would not have been as effective. So now, um, goodness. Should I just stay there? Might have to, or might want to. Yeah, I think I will. He's I'll just stay closest, there. Though, but yeah. yeah um, no, but don't I'm... stay there because the madman likes to do area of effect stress. So if he went next, he could get all three of us stressed out. So you're saying I should go <laughs> ahead and just <laughs> have myself get stressed <laughs> out instead of all three of That's us? That's exactly what I said. <laughs> so I'm a glorified meat shield. Got it. Go here if you want. All you right. Lose I'll, your buff, I'll... but. I would. You can't go there. Remember that. Oh, that's right. It gets rid of all that stuff. It's I'll stay here. Flush. I'll stay here. Okay. All right. Madman's turn. So he would like to. Ooh. Two. He would like to do a doomsday against the most crowded area. Well, actually, you just saved yourself because he's gonna walk forward. He needs a range of one. He's going to walk forward there and do it at these two. This is a little awkward because I'm sitting here watching him damage you. Yes. So, and I'm like You're pointing at You're laughing the whole time, huh? <laughs> You're helping him. Crit chance of one, accuracy of ten, nine in her case. There's a ten. So. I missed? That missed her. Oh, okay. And gave a stress to the Vestal. Mm. Vestal's just about ready to go insane. Mm-hmm. We got your back, fam. All right, here we go. Oh, no. Weber's turn. He would like to, he, she, it. It. Would like to bite the closest person. Nice. One, two, one. one. So it would like to bite you. And your Wonderful. room is full, so he can't move in. So that's it. He's stuck. Ha-ha. <laughs> now... That doesn't override and he comes over this way? Nope, it does not. Okay. He will take his target and try to make it happen. Got it. Okay, well, we know Grave Robber. Grave next. Robber. How many health do I got? Two. Okay, and then I got that extra. So, I should probably just attack the Madman. When in doubt. When in doubt, just attack the Madman. Yes. Um, he is not immune to... Okay. So I'm going to do... When 
many health has he got? He's got 10. He's got a lot. All right, I'll do a poison dart at him first. So okay. accuracy modified is 8, crit chance of 2. So 5 is a hit, actually crit chance of 3. Still no good. Um, 5 will hit, 2 damage. And he needs 2 blight for 3 turns. 2 blight, that's over on your side. Oh yeah. Rock on. 2 blight for 3 turns. And then I will throw a dagger at him. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, so accuracy is nine, so seven, crit chance is three, four. Oh. <laughs> Snap Bam. dragon. Oh, all right, well, that sucked. Okay, Vestal's turn. You need heals? <laughs> yes, I need all the heals. All right, first, <laughs> the first thing I'm gonna do is do divine comfort over yonder. Wait, can you do that? Oh, you're doing it for him. For yeah, him. Okay. Got it. Yeah. Got it, got it, got it. Crit chance is five. Here's and this. I don't Here's I don't have button. that thing anymore. You do not. So jeez. <laughs> okay, so you heal for two and she heals for two. Just two? Yeah, just two. Okay. So. Even though I don't have that thing anymore? Yeah. That's the smaller of the two. Um got it. and then can the madman be stunned? He sure can. Alright, so I'm gonna do dazzling light at the madman. <laughs> Which is a three. Crit chance of, that is a crit. So four yeah. damage. One, two, three, four. And heal stress one here. Heal stress one there. So now he is at, well, oh, he's at six. Damage out of ten. He's stunned for one round. Means he can't do anything. And the torch goes up by one. Yeah. I'm liking those uh, sparkle fingers, man. Mm. Sparkles! <laughs> <laughs> okay. We got sparkles going on. We are in round two. Thank you. All right. Put me in, coach. Deal. You guys may notice I changed out two of my skills with the Grave Robber um, going all range this time. Yeah. You can do that whenever you go back to the Hamlet. Yep. It's one of the things you can do for free. Uh, I didn't change any. I, I like my setup, so I didn't change anything. The only thing I did is I went to, to the, what is it called, the Guild to uh, upgrade my Battle Heal for two. So you guys saw that, but we wanted to mention it. Okay. Shaders <sighs> first. Start battle healing yourself now as your special battle heal. I'm going to. Uh, what does he got? He's got. He has three hit points left. Three hit man. I'm gonna yell at you after I heal myself. I'm gonna I'm gonna say like hold on for a second. And I got accuracy 14. Oh, good. <laughs> good luck. Good thing. <laughs> at least one um, of your buff tokens. Um, one of my buff tokens, yeah. How much did you heal for? Uh, heal for three, so I need two nice. back. All right, and then I'm going to say, you know what? You need to check yourself before you wreck yourself. I don't know, that's not really zealous. That's not much of an accusation either, but accuracy nine, so eight. I'm pretty sure it was your shoelaces are untied. Yes, exactly. Something like that. Uh, but that is five damage. Okay. So he's toast. He is toast. And turned into a skeleton. Okay. Well, Next. Highwayman. Highwayman. All right. So the uh, madman is pretty. He's pretty hurt too. He only needs five bucks. So. Yeah, and he's going to take two at the start of this turn, which will put him at um, eight. And then he's going to take two at the start of next turn, which he's not going to be able to do anything. So. All right, I'm just going to do um, open vein on the madman. So accuracy 10. So I'm looking for eight. That's cocked. Come on. All right, fine. There we go. Six. Um, still hits, that's five damage, so he's done. 
all that hard work I did for nothing. Hey, you know, I know it's, it's teamwork makes the dream work, man. Okay. And then I've got, uh, I can either do pistol shot or grape shot blast. So I'm going to do pistol shot though, because that has the uh, chance to kill it outright. So we will go with accuracy nine minus one eight. eight. So it's an eight. That's five damage. Bye-bye, Mr. Weber. All right. No chests for us. But that is one experience point for all of us. That is one experience point. We'll put this over to the side here. Now we got it done. You can have your guys back. We did okay. We're all stressed out, but we did all right. Yep. Okay. That is that. So, so now we have to go back through. But before we do that, I think maybe we should... Camp? Camp and knock some stress down. Yeah, always rest after a battle if you can. I would definitely do that. So we have 12. Yeah. We just want to do three each. I She could do two and leave one for somebody else, but I'd like to do three here. So you guys um, have, you have seven. I have seven. Mm -hmm. Two, three, one, two, three. Um, he has more damage, so... And he's, how much is his heal for now? Three? Yeah, I'm not going to worry about that. I'll take it off of him. Yep. Okay. There we go. Alright, so we don't have to do any encounters in the dungeon, but we do have to walk back, which is one stress for everybody. Man, I just got through fixing that. And then when we get there, the torch is going to go down. Dun, dun, dun. And then we have to walk back again. Which is one stress for everybody. Man, I just fixed that. I know. And now we all have to encounter that. Take two damage. Stress or health. Now that goes up as you level up. So it's based on your level. Hmm. So I'm going to take one and one here and two on my Vestal. All right, give me a fiver. So I did one damage and one here, and I did one here and one here. Nice. I had four, so I took two of the. I mean, I took one yep. of those and put it here. Right on. Okay, so now we're here, and unfortunately, the only way we can go is to the next trap room. So, again, which we've already scouted. So now we're now we're exploring. This is all right. So hi, we man. It's a trap. It's a trap. And I don't know if we're going to make it out of here. Unstressed. Yes, we are. Unstressed, I said. We'll make it out. I'm not sure hey, about man. the stress part. Okay. Buckle up, Buttercup. Buckle up. We're going to do it. I'm buckled. Uh, uh, Crusader's a bit tepid. You are hungry, but you're not. You you can't have. There's no food. There ain't no food? No, we ate it all. One of us did. Still Stupid did. fat hobbits. <laughs> no. So, then you have to take. Oh, now I can't remember if it's... I think it's two damage. I can't remember that one between that and the barricade. I think you take two damage. One you of them's, it one, over, of them's one damage, one stress, and the other one's two damage. I'll take the two damage. Okay. And then this is the trap. Um, I have a shovel. No shovel. Accuracy so we gotta of roll. eight. Accuracy of eight. Come on, ten. Nope. Okay, two damage. Two damage. Uh, so just give me a fire rate, though. Nice. Okay. I don't know if I would Same say nice, nice, but... Let's... Look at that. If you were like nice. her, you wouldn't worry about it. Yeah, see, now you say nice. Nice! Yeah, All okay, right. good job. Okay, once. I got it right. And let the torch go down or burn the torch or take two stress. Ugh. Sorry, guys. Sorry, guys. Mm -mm -mm. You got them sparkle fingers, though. I don't know. All right, so now we're in the trap room. Two damage each. Owie! <laughs> or, or stress. Alright. Or stress. Number two, you can you can split it however uh, you like. Man, I'm so close to getting... Stressed out. Oh, uh, I'll just do one and one. That's all I've been doing, so... Right. Give me two. Two singles? Yep. Alright. Here we go. Okay. We successfully defeated the trap room. Now we gotta scout.
And Scout's going to reveal uh, all scout, three of those, right? No, not until we get here. So we're going to have to scout oh, to get to there. Nasty to scout again. Nasty freakingness. Ready? Yes. We don't have enough provisions otherwise. Did you did you add one stress for your scout? Oh, 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 oh. oh we can leave now if you want with one experience point. Highwayman. Oh crap. And this guy. Oh, look at that food. Hunger. This is not good. We are doing this it. This is no bueno. Okay, starting here. I gotta take two. You gotta roll an attack on yourself. Mm, come on, ten. Or a three. So critical chance is one. Yep. So that would be a hit for two. Uh, just give me a fiver. No, five more. I can give you five plus two if you want. No thanks. All right. We don't have a torch. This guy, no torch, so we just got to draw a curio and take it in the tailpipe. Oh, it's a suit of armor. Hey, hey. Mm -hmm. An antique super suit of armor stands amidst the ruins. As you touch its helmet, because who wouldn't do that? Uh, it clams shut, trapping your fingers inside. You manage to break free, but you realize that your carelessness can only be surpassed by the oncoming fever. Oh. Super duper. So now I am stressed. Yeah. So move it all the way to the bottom. Move all the way back here, but it keeps on, it stays on red. And you now are irrational. <laughs> well, I mean, you know, that's that's uh, uh, normal, I guess. So we'll keep that over here. Uh, I uh, I also get a negative quirk. Uh, I'm also a, I'm, I'm irrational, and I'm a bad gambler. Sweet. So, if I roll a d10, and I roll a 10, I get uh, a damage for every level. Yeah. Um, then I also get a stack of one bleeds for three turns, so I get three one bleeds, and then I also get a... You also get uh, a disease, disease, which replaces your other disease. So, I am, I, I'm not suffering from vertigo, I'm lethargic. So, uh... Every time you move, you take that. Every time I move, I get to... Well, I don't want to go over there. <laughs> and you're irrational. I am. And you're a bad guy. I'm like, just, I'm, I'm a whiny little pup now, that is what is it is. That's a heck of a suit of armor. That is. Thanks a lot, stupid sticking my fingers in the helmet. Uh, so that's that. Okay. I need to get my bleed. I have that, though. Yeah. So, one... Two and three. All right, so I got a trap to... Jeez Louise. Whose idea was it to come down here? That's what I want to know. You're the one that wanted to go past the darkness. That's true. Um, I could see bit eight minus my dodge. That is a miss again on the trap. And then she is hungry, so that is two damage. So, oops. So we just... Outside of battle, we did plenty of damage to ourselves. <laughs> and what that does, it puts us right there in the middle. So now we can scout again. <laughs> if we'd like. If we don't want, we have to deal with these three dice. Mm -hmm. Eight dice. So. Um, we we want to try to get at least... We need one more. We need one more, right? Mm -hmm. So yeah, let's do it. It's going to hurt, but we need one more. <laughs> I'm yeah. looking down, Shrek. Maybe. And you are masochistic. <laughs> this is this is not good, man. Good All right. So at the start of my turn, I have to roll a d10. If I roll one to three, I have to take two damage yeah. for every level. So I'm still level one, right? Yep. Yeah. Oh. Amazing. All right. And then he took one, we all took one. I'm only, I'm right there behind you. So there's one, there's a blank room, and there's one. All right, so let's go up. All right, we're going up. We gotta roll one black dice each. Let's go so exploring. Food! We should have right, brought a lot go. more food. Highwayman. Oh, man. This is, and a crusader. And we have, oh, man. <laughs> man. <laughs> and we haven't made a dime yet, just so you know. <laughs> Oh, although we do get 10 for entering the dungeon, so we are at 12. Woohoo! Um, okay. All right, We're in starting the up to Crusader. 
Either drop the torch or take two stress. Man, I'm already masochistic. <laughs> so I'll take my two stress and be happy with it. Same over here. We're like, bring it. We're eating stress like no dos. We may not make it out of year one. All right. So, Vestal. Come on, Rock. You're gonna eat lightning and you're gonna crap thunder. All right. Two damage to the Vestal. She's at eight, seven, six, ten. Hey, we're pretty good. All right. Guess where we're at now. <laughs> Bam. <laughs> right, I gotta get rid of some of this stress. Give me something to fight. On the Beacon of Light. Oh, this is actually a good room for us to have thing right now, I think. All right, so uh, we have the Beacon of Light, which is number five. All right, so all of these red areas here are stressful darkness. Their corridors are too dark. Heroes ending their turn here suffer one stress. Or you have the Beacon of Light that's right over here in this corner. And heroes ending their turn here recover one stress. Okay. So, not too shabby. Let's go hang out at the beacon. <laughs> you got that right. I'm going to be stuck on the other side. I knew it! Let's see. Crusader is way over here. There she is. So, Crusader starts here. And... Arms. Yeah, this guy starts here. So your Vestal starts here, and your Grave Robber starts right. here. Bone Soldier in the front. Bone Soldier is ready. So we have a That's never a good sign. Chest there. Got any chests up here anywhere? Um, just the one. Just the one chest, I think. Yeah. And a spitter. Hmm. I'm telling you, man, these monsters just... Spiders love us. They, they like spitting at us, that's yeah. for sure. Well, at least we didn't get one of your... What's that, what was that snake called? That... The Pliskin? Yeah. Pliskin was nastiness. It was very nasty. Embodied. All right. Okay. Oh, let's get these back. Now we can go home after this one, right, Papa? We, no, we gotta go do the other one. No, we do not. <laughs> Come on, it's only two stress, one stress, and one more black dice to get there. You're not hearing me clearly. All right, we might leave. I'm gonna take both of these with my two characters so that we don't have. Wow! All right, here we go. This is gonna be fun. Hit him with your purse. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Sucker could be heavy. Come on now. All right. We are going to do a graveyard slash against the most wounded. I got 10. All right. He's coming at you. He's got to he come all the way down here. Range one. All he's got to do is stand there and swing from a distance. All right. Accuracy nine. Crit chance two. That's a hit. That's five damage. Plain and simple. That's 15. Okay. Out of 17. Yep, plenty left. Crusader's up. All right. Remember Crus that stressful darkness. Crusader. Yeah, I know. There's nothing I can do about that. I can only walk one. Okay, at the start of my turn, I have to roll a d10. Oh, that's right. So. <laughs> so you take two damage? Yeah, that, that's, that's 17. It. So you were at death's door. I am. Uh, also drop your buff. You still buffed for this turn. But. Yep. Um, so I'm going to heal first. Battlefield heal, and then I'll yell at this guy. What is his? He has seven. Hmm. See, I could definitely kill him if I move one and not heal, or I heal. And possibly kill him with a crit. And you, if you don't heal, you got that 30% chance of... Yeah, I'm going to heal. Battle heal two. Oh, surviving. Oh, that's a crit. Nice. Yes. So that gets rid of one of the fibers. A whole five? Yeah. Because I stress. 
Um, stress relief yep, for you stress. and for... Oh, wait, no. I, I just don't get the stress. I don't get to go back oh, right. because of this. Gotcha. Um, okay, so that was my battle heal. Now, uh, Zealous Accusation uh, is going to be Accuracy 9. Yep. Crit 1. So that's a hit. That's 5 damage. 5 of his 7. Oh, so he has armor. So we haven't seen this before, but he has armor. Mm. So that means he takes damage half rounded up. Oh, so he took three, not five. Yep. Snapper doodles. Okay. Hmm. Okay. Trey. That is me. Okay. Highwayman. Highwayman. Well, when you get one stress. Yep. For being in the darkness. All right. Uh, you have a bleed. Oh yeah, how we been? Let's do all this stuff first. So I have plus one to crit. I have to bleed. That's that. Oh wait, no, that's me. And then we're going to. Oh yeah, he have to take a damage every time I move. But I gotta get, mm -hmm. out get, get out of the stress. So I need a damage. Perfect. So I'll go. Um, let's see. I think I'll go. I think I'll go. Two. That spitter only has five damage, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna go two. Um, you know what? When I just took damage. I'm gonna take an extra two. Ooh. Just because I'm a donkey on the edge. Did you roll that? Will you stop? I'm sorry. You're irrational. <laughs> In real life, I don't know about your character. Move one uh, stance backward. Yeah. Does that change anything that I can do? No, it doesn't. I don't think I'm so. Good. All right, so so now I'm going to. Oh, I moved one. Oh well. He has five health. He has five health. I'm going to do open vein. So accuracy ten. <laughs> and then crit. crit one. Yeah, I didn't need it. Uh, would have loved to have used that on that, but it's a uh, nine damage, so it's gone. Okay, it's gone. You gain a st or you heal a stress. <clears throat> yeah. That's it, because I moved and yep. then hit. <clears throat> Look at that. Grave robbers next. So, how does it work? They can't take a stress. Man alive. Shoot that arbalist first. What's the arbalist? Does he have any resistances? He is resistant to bleed. This is super brutal. Mm-hmm. Hence a roguelike game. <laughs> Just saying. No, I know. Right. I know. There's a... Buff. Um, I am going to throw a poison dart at the Arbalist. Seems like a good idea. Accuracy 9, modified crit 2. Yes! Is that cocked or is that good enough? No, that's 2. Alright, that's a 2. That's laying flat, bro. Okay. Okay, so that's a two, and that's a crit, so I heal a stress, you do not. <laughs> oh no, that's when you crit. That's when I crit, man. Yeah, you get one for me critting. Okay, and then the damage on that is four. I know, I crit with four damage. One, two, three, <laughs> four. You threw a two pack, two, two thick at him, but it was really well aimed. No, it's covered in poisonous acid. And you hit an artery. Yes. Okay, so that's my first one. My second. Oh, do I want to take the stress? I'm nervous about taking. Can that you move stress. out? I can. One, two, three. I can. Sure, leave me back here. Leave Fine. me back there to Appreciate die. it. <laughs> Thanks for all your help. You're welcome. Bye bye. <laughs>
Okay. That's it then. Mm -hmm. Vestal. Mm -hmm. Come on, Vestal. Can I, I can kill him. There's no way I can kill that guy. Alright. No, oh, snap. Alright. So he's in defensive position. He wants to do a bayonet jab against the closest, which is hers. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I saved you. Um, so he is going to move in. Accuracy is 7, modified crit 1. Look at that. Oh, missed. Duck. <laughs> duck. <laughs> duck, duck, goose. Goose. Okay. And he takes 2 damage from his status effect. Mm, mm, mm. Okay. All right. That's what's cool. next. Too bad you guys weren't in the same spot. All right, those two have already gone. He's a lost cause. Wow. <laughs> help, help, I'm under the bus. And what is this? This is only two, so there's only two can fit in that space. So she actually, I could take both of my turns just to walk out, but I am instead going to sacrifice myself by healing her with uh, Divine Comfort. Not really sacrifice myself because I'm going to get some too. Critical mm. chance is five. Still Man, good. How can you not roll a crit with crit I chance know. five? So I heal two there. She also heals two on herself. Um, second, the Arbalist has six. He's going to have eight. Can I do three damage? I cannot without a crit. Mm. Mm -mm. Not without a crit. So I am going to... I don't know if that's worth it. I'm gonna do it anyways. He does. Is he immune to stun? Do it. He's not. Do it. Must be I'm done. I'm going to do dazzling light. Give in to your I'm hate. Do sprinkle fingers. What'd you call them? Sparkle fingers. Sprinkle fingers. Sparkle, sprinkle fingers. Sparkle fingers. Sparkle fingers. Sprinkle fingers. Sprinkle fingers. <laughs> <laughs> Making cakes. <laughs> All right. With a three. Uh, crit was three. That's got to be that's a crit. Four yeah. damage. So. It puts him at 10, so he's going to die as soon as it's his turn. Yeah, we can leave him alone. We can leave him alone. And he gets stunned for one turn anyways, which is not going to matter. Um, she heals a stress, and the light goes up one, so our hey, dodge is back up. Okay. Did you hear it? Yeah. see a real bright light? <laughs> okay, Acolyte's turn. Acolyte's in the last position. She wants to. Ooh, she wants to do an eldritch push against the closest person. So, um, accuracy modified eight crit two. Eight crit two, yep. but we have plus one dodge now. So modified oh, seven. Modified seven. Yep, seven. Crit two. More crit. Okay. <sighs> Um, I am at death's door, mm -hmm. I imagine. If she does more than two damage... You take two damage. Yes. So I'm at death's door. You take one stress. <laughs> Who cares? Who cares? <laughs> you need to heal now, and you're pushed two spaces. That really sucks. So... Uh, you come back here. Well, it's not the end of my turn, but... It is not the end of your turn, but you also got to push yourself back behind the vessel oh, there. snap. Okay. All right, that was round one. Curse you, Shark Slayer! Oh, got it. I don't need that one. Mm. All right, the board is not looking promising. Hey, we got this. Oh, the Vestal should have taken one stress for staying there. All right, Crusaders first. And that dude already has some damage on him. He has three. He needs four. Okay. He needs four more. And he has armor on. Oh, snap, that's right. So he needs to do... I need to do the Smite one on him. Do seven damage, yep. He's unholy too, so it's an extra one damage. So... I would finish him. Uh, I can't heal this turn though. Yeah. But all right, so I'm gonna move forward and smite one. Accuracy nine. 
No dodge. Crit one. Got him. Okay. So that's eight damage, so he takes four. Alright. He goes back in the pile, because the necromancer likes him. Get your skeleton out of my face! And I take his stress. Alright. Grave Robert is next. So that's my last buff. Um, she's standing here with this guy, which she has no up, up close and personal stuff, actually. So... Oh, he's not going to do anything, though. So she wants to throw a... Yeah. She's going to throw a poison dart at um, this cultist acolyte. Accuracy is 9, crit 2. Look at that. Crit. Crit. That goes down. 4 damage. Blight, three turns. Burn, baby, burn. <laughs> Disco Inferno. And then she is going to. I guess she could just stay there. Just kind of pinning the Vestal in. I was going to say I'd come here and heal a stress. Oh, really, what I should do, though, is attack her and kill her. Do it. No? Or should I. Do it. I'm gonna throw. Oh, I don't know if that'll kill her. I'm gonna throw. It won't. How much? What she was it? Needs, she's, she's, got she's got four. She's got four. She needs, needs five. Five more. Oh, I need a crit. That's my last crit. Three. So crit chances four. Well, it would be. Th you would need to do three because she'll take two blight on her turn. Yeah. Oh, actually, I get a plus one versus. I'll do it. I'll throw the dagger. Three. So that is a crit. For eight damage. That She's does gone. It. That and does it. And I give another stress relief, so I guess I didn't need to go there. Nice good job. She's out of the game. Mm. Alright. Best of is next. Um she might as well just heal. Are we going back to town after this? Um, Probably. Yeah, both of my guys are at death's door. Oh, both. <laughs> yes, we're doing our jobs he's as a tank. He's only got twelve damage. Huh? He's missing. He's got five. Okay, more he's not. He's not. But all he right. definitely is. Yes. Okay. So, all right, then she is just going to heal um, her with the divine comfort. That's my last crit chance for her too. So mm -hmm. Crit is a five. Oh no, we don't have that Christian. Crit is a four. So she heals each of them for two. She's at four. One, two, three, four, and she's at three. And then she's gonna heal her with divine grace. A chance of a four, so he heals three more. That's her turn. She's gonna take a stress though for being in the dark. And the monster is going to die. And his blight. Cool beans, man. He goes back in the pot. Now okay. we're done, right? Done. Let's get no the heck out of Dodge. Getting the heck out of Dodge. We are leaving the dungeon with our two experience points. Right? Yes. Okay. We're going back to town. I beg you, deliver our family from the ravenous clutching shadow of the darkest dungeon.